obviously I thought we had some some good spurts to begin the game, um, and then I, I thought the last 14 minutes were about as poorly as we've played since we've been here, and it was embarrassing. The, the you know I, I think you can't turn it on and turn it off. I think we try to you know you're up 17, you can't just stop doing what got you there. We turned it over, didn't start, didn't guard the ball, uh, didn't make free throws, and uh, didn't execute. It was, it was disappointing. Way to end, but I, I, you know, I think Meech got us, you know, saved us a little bit there, especially early and had some spurts. And I thought that Mark Eddy had a couple of shots when we needed some, and I thought obviously Brandon uh, played hard. But I, I just think from a from a uh, finishing a game out and playing the right way and, and doing what we're supposed to do when you have 11 assists, I think I mean, you know, 12 assists, we had nine at the half. That, that means the ball was sticking, and we didn't play like we're supposed to. Absolutely, and this is becoming. A, this has been a little bit of a trend. Same thing at Georgia Southern the other night. You had them. You had them stomp. You had them beat. You, you're letting them get back. Not you, but the team's letting them get back off the mat. I don't. You know, I'm not. I don't know if two is a trend, but you know, it's, it's not good. And we'll, we'll work on some late game situations. And when you have those things, I mean, 57 percent again from the floor. You know, the other day we shot 61, and we're not finishing games. That's that's really disappointing. What, Brandon, what, what do you think it's been these past couple of games not being able to go ahead and you know just step on the throat and finish them off? Well, I think it starts in practice. You know, coach does a lot of us. We we kind of we kind of turn it off in practice sometimes, and like that's becoming like a habit, and that's a habit we gotta get out of, which is translating to the game. So we just gotta we gotta start in practice, finish in practice out strong, and keeping that energy going like we have in the beginning, and that'll translate to the game because. We had to gain control, like, mm -hmm. like until the 14 minute mark or something like that in the second half. And so, I think from just the guys, like we just gotta turn it, keep it turned on, and you know keep the same energy we had in the first half and the second half. Really, you're up 15 with 6:24 left. You know, I mean, you're yeah. you're in good shape, way late even. Yeah. What, what's it like when it starts getting away from you? Is it do you, do you get frustrated with one another? Do you get frustrated with yourself? What was it? Do you start to panic a little bit? But, I mean. I wouldn't say we panic, but we don't we don't communicate as much. Mm -hmm. Everyone's a little looking around and you know trying to figure out what's going on. And I think that's where like me and Zach need to step up and get the team together. And you know we st we're still we're still learning ourselves. And so um, you know not much of a panic, but coach coach tells us like we have a blank look on our face, and and he you know he sees it all. So we just got to keep. Keep the pace going. Like 15 turn over three straight possessions. Yeah. It was three straight possessions and gave up three straight blocks. Right. right. Uh, same, same to you, Meach. Just you know, when it's kind of getting away from you like that, what's what's kind of the feel out there, and what do you guys need to do to correct that? Um, what we need to do to correct it, um, I mean, just stay poised and keep our heads, you know, keep our heads up, because most of the times, once we're down, we put our heads down. We just better go, pretty much. But I mean, if we keep fighting back. Will be in the game no matter what. <clears throat> and um, like today, it feels like at a certain time we just got our foot off the brake. I mean, off the pedal, and we just gave it to them. We gave them anything they want. We're mostly in the paint too. And um, yeah, just keep our heads up pretty much. And and you know, you look at the field goal percent, Joe, and it's uh, defensively, you know, it's, it's not. Terrible. I mean, forty-eight point one is pretty high, but a lot of drives just right well, through the lane. It, it, that's the thing. That's when you give up the points, the points in the paint, like we've done, and you, know, you give up one three-point field goal attempt. You get out rebounded, which is another thing. That, you know, we've been terrific on the backboard this year, and, and that was a major disappointment. Now, a lot of that's deceptive too, because you know you missed fourteen free throws, so those are rebounds. We didn't get an offensive rebound off a free throw, so they they're plus fourteen right there, but. Uh, just, just you know, when you're up 15, you, you turn over those possessions. You can't waste possessions. You can't give up easy baskets, and that's what we did tonight. It was, it was disappointing. 16 and 30 from the line. Um, how do you correct that? Just, just shoot them in practice. Oh, we, we shot them yesterday morning. We've shot them today, and I, I think it's. I think when things go bad, it's like everything else, you got to be able to turn it. And you know, I, I, you know, we'll, that's something that we'll get addressed. You guys were able to really score score it well, especially inside in the first half. Was there anything they were doing defensively, uh, second half that was limiting that? Or I thought we held the ball too much. We we didn't have the ball. The ball and body movement wasn't as good, uh, you know, which was shown with the three with the three assists in the second half. And then the other thing is that you know you take the wind out of your own cells when you miss as many free throws as we did. You know, the crowd 
you know, the bench, everybody is just sort of sitting there saying, come on, somebody make a free throw. We did that, you know, but a lot of these things that we did were self-inflicted, which is bad news, but it's also good news because when we can correct those things, I think, you know, hopefully it'll make us better team. No such thing as a bad win, but I mean, does this feel like it should have been better? Well, I mean, think you, you know, just the way you finish the game. You know, I mean, it's you could play poorly and win, and you know, it's a, it's a great win, or you could play poorly and you know lose, and or you could play great and lose, and you're saying, well, that's you know, that, it's, it's all how you play the game. We didn't play it the right way the last couple of minutes, which was disappointing. Only took five threes. Uh, was that? It's been kind of a point of emphasis for you this season. You have said you've wanted to shoot more threes. Was it? Was this a game plan thing where it's we're just we're going to have those looks inside, or I think we've got to find a balance. I think that we did a good job of you know when you look statistically, if your other teams are probably saying we have to get those guys off the line a little bit more. We've been shooting forty one from three and making almost nine a game. So some people are going to do some things that we also thought that we could score in the, in the post a little bit. Uh, I thought we did a good job. We had a bunch of misses in the early. You know, Trey didn't play one of his better games as far as making shots. He's been terrific for us all year. He's great. The other day he missed a couple chippies, which he usually makes, and you know, those are sort of ones that take wind out of your sail too. How do you rebound from just kind of the slow finish here to get back to practice tomorrow and then uh, FIU? On no, we got no choice. No, it's, it's, we, we knew this coming in. It's a quick turnaround. We'll get our minds. We'll watch tape tomorrow. We'll watch a little bit of ourselves. We'll watch some on FIU. Get our rest and uh, you know, we'll, 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 we'll get better. The, you mentioned Trey. The, the two worst passes of the night were Trey on a fast break and you to the official. But uh, <laughs> I didn't want to throw my, I didn't want to get my sport coat. <laughs> FIU, they, they played you guys really tough here last year. Well, the, the, well, they had us dead in the water down there last year. Uh, there we, last yeah, year, we right. Had, we had struggled early and we made a terrific comeback late. We, we each had a big basket late in the game. And, um, you know, we, they're scoring a lot more points. Kate Kessins, Gill, and McGill, those guys, they've got advantage. Those, those guys have got some guys that can put the ball in the basket. The kid Kessens is a graduate student, trend, you know, mm -hmm. had a real good junior year uh, or sophomore year at Alabama, and uh, you know, is, a, is a good player. And they've been playing better. So uh, played South Carolina tough at South Carolina last weekend. Mm -hmm. And you, you mentioned rebounding. You didn't rebound so well tonight. They they kick ass on the no, they're boards. They're very good. They're 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 they differential on the backboard is terrific. And uh, you know, I think that the big thing for us is we'll we'll have to make sure that we control. You know, we're on the backboard. And, um, we got some things we got to sort through, which which we will. And, and Meach, you played in the game last year. What are your, you know, what do you recall about FIU and how they play, and just kind of what do you think are going to be the keys to this thing on Sunday? Um, well, they're a tough team. I mean, especially in the post, they have big guys down there. Mm -hmm. And um, keys to the game, I don't know, just defend, <laughs> defend well, and keep our, you know, stay focused. I mean. <laughs> Stay focused. Stay That's focused. Nice. Both ends of the floor. Yeah, true. And on offense, just, you know, do what we've been doing the past couple of games. Anything else? Just one more question. Um, it seems like Meech has been knocking down a lot of alley-oop slams. A lot of players have been throwing lobs. Is that something you emphasize in practice for them to be more aggressive and throwing lobs? So there's some high percentage shots for you guys. I think the guys have done a pretty good job of, of taking what the defense has given them. You know, I thought that when guys helped over and each had a rim run, they'd have done a good job of seeing that he's open. And um, you know, I think the, the one thing that happens is a lot of times when you're a good screener, you get rewarded. He's, he's trying to become a better screener, and I think the guys rewarded him for doing that.